going to be doing our uh, math school bus story mats. So remember that is in your math bag. And we're going to be using this one still um, on Tuesday. You should have done 1 through 5. We're going to go ahead and do 6 through 10 to finish off uh, this front page. This one. And it's also in your seesaw if you want to um, add it in that way. Okay, so we're starting with number 6. Let me go ahead and show you my math mat. I have my people laid out and I have my mat. Let me read number 6 to you guys. If you ride the school bus two times this week, and five times next week, how many times did you ride the bus? Well, you can act that out on your um, story mat if you want to, but I'm gonna do my mental math for this one. Okay, so if we ride the school bus two times this week and five times next week, how many times did you ride the bus? All right, so let's count. We have two and five. Let's start with our big number first, okay? So we have five, six, seven. Well, total. I rode the bus seven times. So just like we did earlier this week, on number six up here, we are going to write seven. All right, moving on to the next one. If the school bus picks up Dot and three of her friends, how many people were picked up? All right, showing you my math mat. We have Dot and three of her friends. So we need to add three more. One, two, so there's dot, three of her friends. Now, how many people were picked up? We can easily look at that and see that there are four. So we're going to draw, write the number four on there. All right. If you need to pause and catch up, go ahead and do that. Press play when you're ready. Okay, number eight. Ten students are on the bus. Five are sitting on the left side. How many are sitting on the right? Okay, so earlier this week we did this um, question by counting all of them at first and then dividing them up. That's just like our number bonds. We're going to do it a little different way um, right now so I can show you just a different way of how to do it. Okay, so we know that there are five sitting on the left side. Okay, so let's get our five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five sitting on the left side. And how many are sitting on the right side? Well, I know I have 10 students total. So here's five. Now I need to count up to get to 10. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, I have my five on the left side, which the problem told us that we have. We had to figure out how many are on the right side if there are 10 total. So let's count how many are on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. That makes sense. Five and five equals ten. Okay, so in my seesaw, I will write there are five on the right side. All right, clearing my board off. Next question, number nine. There are two students on one seat and three students, three on the seat behind it. How many students are in these two rows? Okay, so we have two students on one seat. Let's add that. Two and three on the seat behind it. So we're going to go behind. There's one, two, three on the seat behind it. So how many students are in these two rows? You're going to count all of these um, students right here. So we have two and three. We should easily be able to know that two and three is five. So we're going to write that in our seesaw and clear it. Now, number 10 says, write your own word problem. This is up to you. You get to create your own. So we had addition, subtraction. You can, um, in your Seesaw app, draw a picture, or you can just write your answer. However you want to do number 10, this is up to you for you guys to be able to be the teacher. Okay? You can either take your picture in order to submit it, or you can um, write it on here just like I did. So I have numbers 6 through 10. Click the green check mark to submit it. All right, um, so that completes your story bus for this week. Make sure you put this back in a safe spot. Next week, we will be completing the playground story map. So you still need all of these people. So don't throw these away. You need to put all of these back in one nice pile and put them back in your math bag. Don't lose this. We need it for the next two weeks, okay? So we will clean all of that up and see you guys next time.